In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the non-parametric version of the Levine's homogeneity of variance test, which is based on the median rather than the mean. Now, depending on the version of SPSS you have, there'll be different ways of getting it. But I think irrespective of the version you have, this method should work. So go into Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Explore, and place the dependent variable, in this case MEQ16, in the dependent list. So that's the item desired for physical exercise between 10 p.m. and 11 p.m. And you have to place the gender, the grouping variable, in the factor list. If you don't put the grouping variable here, the option to run the test won't be made available to you. Next, click on Plots. And this option here is available to you because you put the grouping variable on the factor list. If you don't put the grouping variable in the factor list, this will not be highlighted as accessible to you. And the default is none, and you do want the test. And click on Untransformed. Click Continue, and click OK. And here are the results. You can ignore a large percentage of this because it's really just basic descriptive statistics in the first table. And then the table here, you have test of homogeneity of variance. And let me just straighten this out a bit. So in the first row, you get based on mean. That's just the regular parametric version of the Levine's test of homogeneity of variance. But in the context of doing non-parametric statistics, you arguably should be basing it on the median. And SPSS gives you two versions of that, one without adjusted DF and the other one with adjusted DF. In practice, the difference is very little. So choose the one that you want. At some point, I'll figure out exactly when you should use the adjusted DF. But the results are very similar. So with 1 and 2,133 degrees of freedom, the p-value is 0.449. And therefore, I can assume that the homogeneity of variance assumption, or in the context of this Man whitney u statistic I'm conducting, that the distributional shapes are essentially equal across groups, because the p-value was not less than 0.05. Had I observed a p less than 0.05, either for the based on median or based on median with adjusted DF, then I wouldn't be able to assume that the distributional shapes were essentially equal across the males and females on this particular item. And then I'd have to consider my options about what I'm going to do because the man whitney u would no longer be an appropriate procedure to test the difference between the two groups on this dependent variable. 